Now we're going to move on to that GMA health alert. An alarming new report found that some food additives like food coloring and preservatives can pose health risks for your children. The report also found chemicals in food packaging are a concern, and Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here to tell us more about yep. it. I know that you have the Robin, study. this is it. It's okay. hot off the presses. It appeared in the journal Pediatrics, and it's really about awareness here. It evalu evaluated the strongest clinical evidence and data about food additives and compounds in food containers. So we're talking about things like bisphenols, phthalates, nitrites, and nitrates, which then can interact with other compounds and, and cause some health problems, and food coloring, and what kind of health risks they pose to this vulnerable age group mm. while systems are developing and kids might be getting actually a higher exposure to these things than even we do as an adult. And parents are also concerned about how coloring and preservatives when it comes to ADHD. Right. Now, to be clear, the data on the risk between food colorings, and there are about nine or ten of them mm. that are approved for use in this country, and ADHD is not totally conclusive. There is some data that suggests that when then with kids with ADHD reduce their exposure to food coloring, their symptoms may get a little better. Mm -hmm. The real concern is a food dye blue number one, which can potentially cross the blood-brain barrier. But it's not just ADHD and food mm -hmm. coloring. We're talking about other things that we've probably heard about, endocrine disruptors that can affect puberty, fertility, they can lead to obesity, they can affect the way the thyroid gland functions, and they can be implicated in the causation of certain cancers. So this is all about exposure in our food supply in a very vulnerable age group. So what can we do to protect our children? You know, I think that this is common sense, but it bears repeating. I think we need to, all of us, eat from the farm, not the factory. We mm -hmm. need to try and minimize our consumption of processed foods. In general, the containers tend to be an issue. So if you can use glass and not plastic okay. and stainless steel, don't reheat those things uh, unless it's glass and limit the, the processed foods. And the real big warning, Robin, is that beware of those terms organic and natural. When you talk about things like nitrates and nitrates, sometimes things like celery powder can actually result in a greater overall level of those ingredients than the, than the old fashioned ones. So we, we, we need more data. On yeah, this. we do. But this is something. Yeah, it's What's good that? awareness for parents and adults. Okay. All right, Jen. Thanks so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.